So this video is all about the common misconceptions of pelvic floor exercises, also known as Kegels. So I have tried doing pelvic floor exercises and they didn't work. Firstly, well done that you have been trying to do them. The reason that we have such a high number of women with weak pelvic floor issues, leakage and or prolapse, and the current statistics say 50% of women, I can tell you now it's a lot higher than that. So if you've tried them and you feel they haven't worked, it's probably because even if you've been given the information and you know you should be doing your Kegel exercise and you're trying to do them, at least 50% of women, again, will be doing them incorrectly because they can't see them also, they can't understand exactly what area they're meant to be engaging. So the easiest way to explain it is, if you could imagine holding in wind and weight at the same time, it's that area that you want to be engaging. That's the pelvic floor muscles you want to be contracting and doing your Kegel exercises. Now, the beauty of these um, Kegel weights are, the little dumbbell for your pelvic floor, is when you insert them, the correct muscles engage to hold them in because gravity wants them to slip out so then the correct muscles engage to hold them in. So these not only uh, strengthen and tone your pelvic floor, but they also teach you how to do a correct pelvic floor exercise, taking away all the guesswork. Uh, second one, I don't need to do pelvic floor exercises. I hear this so often, so many times. And I can tell you now, if you're a woman and you're aged 18 and above, even if you're 99, you need to be doing your pelvic floor exercises. Again, if you're a man, you need to be doing your pelvic floor exercises, but I'm not going to get into this here. This is for the ladies only. If you have a pelvic floor, which we all do, you need to be doing your pelvic floor exercises. I get countless, countless messages and emails on a daily basis from women such as, I have no children. How can this have happened to me? Um, I've got leaky tissues. I've got a prolapse. I've got other women who um, have a, had, had a C-section and thought they were immune to any issues with the pelvic floor. I can tell you now, incontinence, weak bladder issues does not discriminate. It can happen from any age. You have to remember your pelvic floor is a muscle like any other and it needs to be exercised. It is as simple as that. Um, I've given birth and the damage is already done. No, 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 no. Don't ever, ever think that. I have women who are in their 60s who thought surgery was the only option. And after using the Secret Whispers Kegel Kit and following the program, now I leak free. So you can do something about it. If you had an issue with your arm muscle or your leg muscle, you would work that muscle. You would exercise it. You wouldn't just go straight to surgery or you wouldn't just give up. So you can do something about it. And also remember as well, a good pelvic floor really, really helps with labor. OK, and it helps speed up the recovery after giving birth. So do your kegels, ladies, please. Um, oh, leakage is normal. I, this is the reason I started this business um, almost now two years ago, because that's all I kept hearing when I asked women the question, how's your pelvic floor? Do you do your kegels? And I kept hearing the same answers over and over again. Firstly, what's a pelvic floor? Secondly, what are kegels? And thirdly, Julie, it's normal to leak after having children. I have two children, I've never leaked, never had an issue, but that's because I've always done my Kegel exercises. I've actually done them since the age of 14. And uh, the reason Secret Whispers came around was because I knew I needed a weight, I needed something extra to challenge my pelvic floor. I won't get into that story now, but yes, leakage is not normal, ladies. It is very, very, very common, extremely common, but it is not normal. So please don't think you have to put up with this. And be tied to a lifetime of worrying pads. You can take back control. You can improve the strength of your pelvic floor. It's just a muscle like any other and it needs exercise. Do kegels really work? Yes, move on. Um, will kegels improve my sex life? Oh yes. If you think about it, if you've got a good pelvic floor, you're gonna have great orgasms. It is as simple as that. Um, can I overdo Kegel exercises? Yes, of course you can. The best analogy I can use to explain it is, I always explain these as being like a dumbbell for your pelvic floor, just a little weighted device for your pelvic floor. So if you had a dumbbell in your arm and you were working out and you kept going and kept going and kept going, 
you are going to hurt. You're going to hurt that muscle. You're going to overwork that muscle. So a bit of common sense needs to be used. You need to work it out. You need to work out your pelvic floor, but you still need to be sensible about it. And always remember, when you do your Kegel exercises, it's as equally important to completely relax the pelvic floor between repetitions, okay? Very, very important. Um, at what age should I start? Personally, my opinion, every woman from the age of 18 needs to be using these. And every girl and boy from the age of 14 needs to be educated on the importance of a pelvic floor, the structure, and why doing Kegel exercises is so important. And then when a woman is 18, she would invest in these. And it's just basically a dumbbell for the pelvic floor. It's a little workout for it's like going to the gym for your pelvic floor. So when they're 18, they would invest in these. And then we wouldn't have the huge statistics that we have today in 2020 of at least 50% of women having leakage issues and or prolapses. So it's all about education, education, education,